Here is part two of my 50 plus designer shoe collection. If you have just joined now, then I will leave part one linked up above. However, if this is your second, third, fourth or fifth visit to my channel, then stop fighting it any longer. Hit that subscribe button, ring that bell and join the designer addicted family. If you have a hankering for all things designer and luxurious, just like me, then this is the place for you. <laughs> so I just want to apologise for part one being quite short. I know it just had the trainers and flats in it, um, but as the video went on, my nose became more and more blocked and I was struggling to speak. So yeah, I just thought I'd wait a couple of days, make sure I'm feeling much better, which I am, and go ahead with the rest of the collection. And as you can see, we have a lot to go through. So I'm going to start with the heels and then finish off with the two pairs of boots I have. I'm not going to talk as much as I did in part one. I'm just going to say the designer name and then what material it's made on and move swiftly on. So without further ado, let's jump straight to it. We're going to start row by row. Let's start with the top. Okay, so first up we have some Jimmy Choo wedges. They're quite high. Um, I like the fact that the wicker goes all the way around the back and they have this tan leather. Super comfy, really padded and they look great in summer. I'm speaking too much already, aren't I? <laughs> Next pair of wedges we have the Castaner, I may be saying that wrong again, in this pink canvas, the wick, I'm saying wicker but I'm not entirely sure what it's made of. And then this really pretty white um, strap to go around your ankle, these look amazing in summer. Next up we have these Jimmy Choo heels, um, these have beige suede at the top and then this gorgeous gold snake print around the bottom and on the heel and then they have the strap to finish them off. Really look nice with a, a pair of white jeans. Up next we have a pair of Le Boutons in this gorgeous like pinky, rosy, like beige suede lined with leather and of course that classic red Louboutin painted sole. They're just beautiful, they are quite high with that kind of chunky thick um, platform at the bottom and I love the closed toe on these, they're just gorgeous. Another pair of Louboutins, we have this gorgeous um, pointed toe yellow python pair again with that classic red on the back lined with leather they're really pretty, they are smaller, they have no platform, um, but they're really pretty in like occasions, so I'll wear these to like weddings or in the summer, they're just really pretty shoe. Slightly pinch the toes though, they are quite small. We're already a row down, so let's keep going. <laughs> Um, next up we have my Saint Laurent sandals, I love them so much, they're in like this really dark colour and then they've got the white leather straps, they're just really pretty in summer and I love the kind of like diagonal that the strap is, um, it's just a really pretty addition, again they've got like a chunky heel like my Gucci sandals, just easier to walk in but still really quite elegant I think. Next up we have some Gucci ones, I will leave a link to the video which these were shown on, I think it was quite recently, maybe a couple of weeks ago, but they're kind of like this bright lime, maybe not lime, green colour, um, very out there, they've got quite a bit of a platform, they're in leather, again lined with leather and a slightly chunkier style heel, these are quite old though, um, peep toe Gucci shoes. Here we have another pair of Le Boutons. they're crazy Le Boutons. they have like this sparkly back, um, white kind of lined with the pale pink leather and then they've got this um, patent black tea bar and then pink leather, this, this is a bit of a crazy shoe, um, slightly hidden platform in the gold but yeah, very crazy out there shoe. Okay, these actually aren't meant up here, these are a pair of June sandals, so I'm just going to swap them out for my Gian Vito Rossi Plexi Pumps. And replacing the June heels, that should never have been on the designer display or 
collection, whatever you want to call it, are the Jean Vita Rossi Plexi Pumps. I wear these so much. I actually got them on sale and I got them in the nude um, style. These go with everything. They're a real basic that I would recommend anyone having if you wanted to go for like a designer like nude pair of heels. And they're like the perfect in between height, not too high, not too low as well. Okay, next, another like multicolored crazy Le Bouton are these sandals. They have a mix of leather, suede, and patent, as well as the snake on the back, or python, I think it is. Yeah, they're another crazy shoe. And then they've got gold bits going around as well. Rarely come out, only in summer. I do take these on holiday with me to try and get more use out of them, but you can see that they haven't been worn as much as the rest. On to the next row now, guys. <laughs> we have these gorgeous pointed Louis Vuitton red painted heels. Oh, I love them. They were gifted to me by my ex-boyfriend and they have this gorgeous Louis Vuitton like gold bar at the back. Um, it's just a really nice addition. I've worn these so much, they are such a statement shoe. I mean, who wouldn't want a pair of these? They're like knockout. On to another kind of red pair. These are more of like a dusty red. We have these gorgeous Jimmy Choo tea bars. They are quite high actually. They've got a platform and then a kind of like another hidden platform within. They're in suede, um, I've been worn quite a bit. Knowingly, I took the, these bits off after I'd worn them loads. Um, but yeah, they're a really pretty shoe and I love these so much. They are a bit tight around here, that's the only thing, but the more you wear them, the more they give. Onto another red shoe, we have these Gucci sandals, and I just love this minimalistic style of sandal. They just look amazing on, and they're really dainty, I think, and very elegant. Um, they're in this red paintant, and they're just a really pretty shoe. I love them so much that I have them in black as well. <laughs> One of my favourite Le Boutons are these ones. They are in pink suede. They've got a closed round toe to them and they're just really pretty. Again, they've got like a nice in-between height, not too high and not too small. And they're just like a really like cutesy shoe, I'd say. Very cutesy. <laughs> That's a word. <laughs> So on to the blues and purples row at the moment. We have these Sergio Rossi shoes and they have a, a chunky platform to say the least. Probably not my favourite shoe. I just think the, the, the way it, it looks a bit weird. Um, but that's what I think about the new Jimmy Choo Love. I don't like this bit of it, if you can see that properly. It just goes in a bit too much for me. I don't know. They're very weird to walk in as well. Um, but they're closed toed, they're like a really bright electric blue colour. They're still really nice and I do wear them occasionally, but I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this kind of like stylish shoe. Another cool shoe to mention is the Le Bouton, kind of like gladiator shoes. These high up, they look amazing on. Probably would have wished them to be a bit higher, um, but they're in, again in a very bright electric blue suede. And they're so cool in the summer, like with like that All Saints dress, I could definitely see myself wearing these and yeah, I can't wait to get more wear out of them. Another blue suede pair, definitely more of a turquoise colour, are these Jimmy Choo sandals. Now I call these the Strictly, the Strictly shoes just because they look like something that the Strictly Come Dancing um, dancers wear on their feet. And they are really bendy, like them as well. And they're really gorgeous in this beautiful suede turquoise. And they just, I just think they look really nice on. <laughs> Onto another Le Bouton, and we have these Python purple gorgeous shoes. They're the similar style to the beige ones at the top, and yeah, they're just stunning. <laughs> These are such a wearable pair. These are the Diane von Furstenberg pair and they're just really pretty. They have this cut open bit at the side, a nice pointed toe. They've got no platform to them, 
but the heel is really cool as well. It goes into like a triangle kind of shape. Um, and they are this dark navy blue suede. And I wish I'd got them in black as well. They're just a really elegant and sophisticated shoe. Oh, what? <clears throat> now we're on to the last two rows, which are primarily black shoes. And then we've got one, two, three behind the camera that don't have a place in here and that have like more of a feature on like a feature section behind you um now i know i said like a while ago that i was looking for the perfect black shoe i didn't realize how many black shoes i have until i organized <laughs> organized all this <laughs> so let's just jump straight in we have these gorgeous jimmy chew like court shoes um they ha show a little bit of um toe cleavage they are a mix between suede, black suede, and black leather on the back, if you can see that, with these suede ties as well. Really pretty shoe. Another Jimmy Choo, we have these ones. They are a mix between this python and the black leather. These look amazing. I wore these to my levers, and they have like suede ties as well. They're just really pretty, apart from I've scuffed it. Uh... I didn't notice that. Um, but yeah, again, that in-between height, which is really nice. Another suede pair are these Dior ones. They're just absolutely stunning. They are um, black suede and a mix of like gold trim around this open section. <sighs> what more can I say? They're just gorgeous. <laughs> Another type of gladiator shoes are these ones from Jimmy Choo, all leather with kind of like this in-between silver and gold metallic studs all over and a nice kind of like rather than a really skinny shoe quite like a, a thick he, sorry skinny heel a slightly thicker heel which i think looks really quite nice on these they've got the ratio right <laughs> another black suede pair are these ones from francesco russo i may be butchering that i do apologize <laughs> um i just love the way this shoe is with this point here and then the point at the back which looks amazing on the ankle. They look gorgeous. I recently posted these on my Instagram, my new Instagram, so if you guys wanna go check that out, I'll leave a link in the description box. Um, but yeah, they're kinda of like a really statement shoe. I love these with a dress. Another Gucci shoe are these ones. These are the black ones to the red ones. And these are just a perfect shoe for any occasion. We go with everything. So I have mentioned these ones before on my channel, I'll leave a link to that video if you want to go and check it out. These are some Louboutin black painted open toed shoes. They're just the perfect classic to add to anyone's wardrobe and they've got like that hidden um, platform in them as well. So they are, they're, they're a good height. <laughs> We've got another Le Bouton pair here. These are the all leather like crossed sandals with that slightly chunkier um, strap around the heel. A very minimal platform. Would you call it a platform? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Now these shoes I also posted on my new Instagram and they got a lot of love so I'm thinking a lot of people like these ones. These are the Acrazura, I may be butchering that as well, um, classic black suede pointed toes with that really nice cut out on the side. Again they have that medium height which is just perfect and they've got that little pineapple, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, pineapple on the back. Um, the Akuzura symbol. <laughs> These Gucci ones were mentioned recently, but they are black painted, quite a high platform with another invisible platform in the middle, and then that slightly chunkier heel with the three straps that go across. These Gucci ones are in black suede, that classic T bar shape, a platform, and then another tiny hidden platform in there as well. These were my prom shoes. How big are those ones? <laughs> These are Kirk Geiger ones. They're just a classic open-toed black suede shoe with that impressive platform. Um, surprisingly, they're still easy to walk in. They're quite easy to walk in. And then they've got like a patent heel, um, which is really nice. 
If you guys want to see my prom dress, I will show it to you. It's an Alice and Olivia dress. I still have it in my wardrobe, but I also have a matching dress that my mum surprised me um, for the after prom party. So if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments down below and I'll show it to you. These are another pair of those Gucci ones that I showed you in that video. I'll leave a link. And it's this gorgeous canvas floral detail with this kind of like a wood effect on the heel and on the platform. Again, they've got a hidden platform within them as well. But they're a really summery, pretty shoe. Got two more Gucci's to show you and then on to the last two boots. These are some gorgeous royal blue um, mules from Gucci with that kind of like fringe effect. Oh, if I can grab it at the front and then they've got the Gigi on. These are really nice. I love them so much and use them a lot in summer. Possibly my most wearable shoe ever are these ones. These are the classic Gucci sandals and they're just the perfect height with that really sleek um, strap and then the, kind of like a wavy effect with the Gigi's. These are in just black leather. Onto boots now guys, and these are the first pair. They could have got in flats, but I thought I'd give them their own section. These are the Jimmy Choo Hillary boots, I believe. Um, they're in this gorgeous grey grained leather, slightly lighter grey sheepskin with the Jimmy Choo growing across the front, and then these laces that have grey and silver, like sparkly silver going throughout them. They're ridiculously comfy and they just, they're just perfect for winter, I wear them so much. So we're on the final shoe of my entire designer shoe collection, which is crazy because I feel like I've been talking for hours. Um, I'll leave a link to the video showcasing these off, but these are another pair of Jimmy Choo boots in black grained leather and I just love them. I wear them so much with so many things. Um, they've got a zip down the side, they've got this just classic like military kind of style going on, um, just really pretty shoe. I think I got them for Black Friday. <laughs> Okay guys, and with those boots, that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed this shoe collection. I'm sorry if I've rumbled on for a good like half an hour. <laughs> um, but let me know in the comments down below which is your favorite shoe. And thanks so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.